What is up, everybody? I know I posted a couple blog videos saying that y'all need to hang on um, because I'm going to be doing another beer review and another dip review. I keep promising and promising and pushing it back and back and back. And for that, I apologize. But one of the reasons I was pushing it back and back and back is I really couldn't figure out what it is that I wanted to review. But I narrowed it down today. Actually, I wouldn't say I narrowed it down. I just got a wild hair up my ass and said, let's do it. Um, so, yeah. But before we get to the beer we're going to review, because this video will be a beer review video, I need to show you a new piece of hardware I got. And that is this ginormous mug. Okay, this thing is freaking massive. And this is what all the Torture Trial beers from here on out will go in. Okay, no more wasting good beer glasses on beers that may or may not deserve it. We are going to use this on any beer that is questionable on um, quality and things of that nature. So this thing is honking. I've already tested it. It will fit a 25 ounce Budweiser can up to about here. So I'm thinking it's like 30 ounces. So yeah, it's a big honking mug. But there's our receptacle. Now let's get down to what we're drinking. And that just happens to be, and I'm, I'm sorry, but um, it's been a long time since I've had this. And um, I hope that y'all can see just how far my arm is sitting off the table to kind of give you a hint of what it is. But this is a torture trials video, so... We are going to be doing Colt 45 malt liquor out of a 40. Now, um, Colt 45 was introduced by the National Brewing Company in 19 the National Brewing Company in 1963. Uh, it's 5.6 ABV, and now it's brewed by Paps, which is brewed by Miller. So technically, it's brewed by Miller. Um, and as far as beer advocates concerned, it's brewed in either San Diego or Los Angeles, sorry. Um, so, one of the two. Um, you know, I'm not big on stats or anything, but Colt 45 is just crazy popular when it comes to malt liquor and 40s. You know, when people think 40s, this is what they think of. This, or maybe King Cobra, but Colt 45 is, I mean, there's a song about it, okay? I mean, Afro Man did a song talking about Colt 45. That's how popular this stuff is. So, um, yeah. Now, I have not had this variant in a long time. And I'm glad it's this one because the, me and Colt 45 don't really have a great relationship. Because as y'all know, sorry I keep pulling this out of frame, but I had an ordeal with another Colt 45 that was extremely unpleasant, to say the very least. Um, sorry, I think I'm my dirty old arm. Um, but I talk about it every time I do any kind of malt liquor or anything, and that is Colt 45 High Gravity. Now, this is the only malt liquor in the beer shelf, and one of two... Cans, that's it, one of two cans that are in the beer shelf. The reason being is because this thing tore me up so bad, I figured it just deserved being in the beer shelf because I've never been so sick in my life except for when I drank these. And I drank like five of them and I got wrecked and it just, oh, it was a bad day. So Colt 45 High Gravity, that's going to be your more potent of the Colt 45 brands that you can get. And this can, not to mention, is just completely badass. So, yeah. So I do have experience with Colt 45, just not a whole lot in this variant. I've had this one other time. So, now let's get down to business. This has been in the freezer for probably about, woo, probably about, let's say, six hours. Or not in the freezer, in the fridge. About six hours. And then um, I got it from Eskimo Hut. And uh, it's, yeah, let's quit stalling. Quit stalling man up and get this done. Okay, so 
right away it smells skunked. I, I, I knew it was going to be cause it's a clear bottle, but we're doing it anyways. I don't care. So. Now, I have done a lot of malt liquors on my channel. Jesus. But one of the only 40s I did was Mickey's. Yeah, I know I poured that like ridiculously hard, but look at how much this holds. Like, dude, it holds a mad amount of beer. It's retarded. Um, but back to what I was saying. Um, really, the only um, 40s I have done, or the only 40 I have done, um, you know what? We're going to scoot y'all back just a tidge, just a smidge. I should have played with the uh, uh, angles a little bit more before I started, but who cares? We, we do a freestyle around here. So uh, Mickey's is, I think, the only 40 I've done. I've done Stack. I've done uh, Hurricane High Gravity. I've done Mickey's. Um, man, which other ones have I done? Can't remember. I have to get on the channel and look. But I mean, get on my channel if you like malt liquor or you're curious about malt liquor. Um, get on my channel and check it out. So um, the I poured it ridiculously hard, and the head has dissipated a little bit, but not as much as I thought it would. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna top this off just a smidgen, just a smidgen. Look at that. That looks like a freaking beer out of like an emoji. This is what stereotypical beer looks like two inches ahead and a big old honking mug that's what beer looks like at least to you know the media you know when you see beer and cartoons like the simpsons or whatever and they're drinking it looks like this uh, or in like old disney movies where they featured beer that's what it looked like um it's pretty cool I, that's a, that's an awesome look so but let's get down to this. Now, malt liquor, okay? Malt liquor is essentially just extra strong, extra strong beer. Now, in Texas, anything over 5% AB, ABV has to be called something other than beer. And that's where the terminology malt liquor comes from. So, um, yeah. Now, 40s got a bad rap back in like the 90s, 80s and 90s for... Um, being geared towards homeless people, and some companies did gear their alcohol towards homeless people, which is totally screwed, man. No integrity at all. I don't agree with it, but they got in trouble um, for marketing their stuff towards uh, homeless people or people less fortunate, um, so that's pretty much what 40s are known for, that and just if you don't have a lot of money. Go out and buy a 40. If you want to get tore up, go out and buy a 40. Um, pretty much all the 40s back in the 90s, early 2000s, came in bottles like this. They're actually starting to go away from these. Old English 800 and Steel Reserve come in a plastic bottle. But as far as I know, King Cobra, um, Miller High Life, Colt 45, and, oh, and Mickey's comes in a plastic bottle too. So I think... Uh, Colt 45, Miller High Life, and King Cobra are the only ones in uh, glass bottles anymore. But correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah, we are going to get this all the way up to the tippy top. And yes, I'm stalling. Shut up. So, completely see-through. Like, you can see me, I can see you. Not a whole lot of bubbles in this but I bet you if I poured it in one of those ridge pint glasses that I have, it'd be bubbles all over the place. The head diminished relatively quickly, but it's nice and soapy. Um, let's give it a whiff. Okay. So, it's got a little skunk to it. Not a whole lot. There was a lot of skunk when I first opened the bottle. Um, but it has that um, vegetable-y, corn, green beans, you know, like a mixed vegetables in a can flavor or aroma to it, but 
you can kind of maybe get some hops, maybe. Cheap, cheap malt, but essentially it smells like malt liquor. So let's go. Oh, and I don't get a smell of any alcohol, so let's get a flavor on. Mm. Yep, that's malt liquor, all right, man. Sheesh. Okay, so the beginning of the sip, carbonation hits you in the face really hard. Then Tastes like corn adjunct. A little bit of breadiness towards the back end. Kind of sweet, but overall it's a corn presence. I mean, the breadiness is going to be there because they're using a little bit of malt, a little bit. Um, but overall it's corn sweetness. But the carbonation is present right as it hits your mouth. It's just like <laughs> smash you with the carbonation. Kind of like a Coke almost. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and it's not light by any means. Oh. The body's on the heavier side of medium. Drinkability. It's not not super drinkable. I mean, maybe out of this, if I was just, you know, to bang it back, just fist this sucker, maybe it's drinkable out of that, because I've done that before several times, um, too many times, <laughs> but out of this, it's not that drinkable. So, um, yeah. <sighs> Okay, so since this is a torture trial, we are going to judge this for what it is, not against craft beers or anything like that. We are just going to go as, we're going to take all the shit beers, put them into one, sorry, we're going to take all the value price economy beers slash malt liquor slash ice beer slash blasphemy concoctions that should not be in existence except for to fill a uh, uh, price gap in one pair. Woo! Wow! So, for those of you that like um, freestyle, that is why I don't cut any of my shit. Because, and sorry for the cussing, but a lot of people release behind the scene or behind the scenes footage and stuff. And yeah, it's funny, but spur of the moment stuff like that like I guarantee you at 11 minutes while I'm chattering and you're watching this video you're not going to expect me to knock that thing over by accident it's going to be funny so that's another reason why I don't cut my stuff but like I was saying we're going to pull all the value economy beers into one pool and compare them against each other so let me get one more swig on this and we'll go ahead and start rating it Okay, so, to be completely honest, it's not that bad, okay? 40s get an extremely bad rap because, you know, when they came about, they were stronger, they were brewed with a higher alcohol content, you know, they were meant to fill a cheap, um, you know, uh, cheap price gap between, you know, the, uh, Premier beers, flagship beers, economy beers, and then just the bottom of the barrel. So that's where they fit in. And for a bottom of the barrel beer, this is not all that bad. Um, I've had worse. I've had way worse. Stack. Colt 45. High gravity. Um, high gravity itself. Uh, uh, hurricane. High gravity. Um, I, uh, 
King Cobra, the Steel Reserve uh, two two eleven was. Oh God! So as far as forties go, I think this one is at kind of the top of the top of the list. Um, of course, my favorite is Old English. Um, that's my favorite forty, but. It's really not all that bad. Now, is it something I'm going to want to drink every day? No. Is it something that I might drink because I'm feeling a little froggy? Sure. Yeah. Every once in a while, swill back a 40. That's good. That works. You know, it keeps me on my toes. It makes me remember where I came from and how spoiled I am to and have a wife that allows me to buy craft beer and spend probably more than I should on craft beer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this sucker a B plus, man. This is, it's, it's good for what it is. For a 40, it's up there, man. For malt liquor, it's even up there. Um, yeah, there are other malt liquors that I would prefer, like Hurricane High Gravity. That one, I think that is the best malt liquor I've ever had. And Mickey's isn't bad either. Mickey's is up there. So, I'm going to give this sucker a B plus, man. It's... Oh, excuse me. I really got a burp. Oh. 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 It's good. Uh, the wife texting me in the middle of a video. Um, but yeah, it's good. So, if you're curious about 40s, pick this one up, pick up a Mickey's, try it, don't freaking rat video it, you know, I mean, doing it that way, it doesn't taste as bad. These are not meant to sit here and sip on, they're not meant to enjoy, okay, they're meant to be Drinking quickly and cold, like freezer cold, and um, to fill that price gap. That's the only thing they're meant for. So, it's my review of Colt 45 Mall Liquor in a 40 B plus for torture trials. Go out and get you some. See what the 40s are about, and keep that in your repertoire. So when you only got, you know. 350 in your pocket and you want to drink for the rest of the night, go and get you a 40 of Colt 45 or a 40 of Mickey and just sip it. And we'll see y'all in the next one, which will actually be recorded directly after this. Adios, amigos.